Let's be honest, we all know golf is hilariously expensive. Hing irons, tailor-made irons, PXG irons, irons alone cost anywhere up to 1,000 to 1,500 pounds. But does it really need to be that expensive? I think in the last few years, we've seen some brands realizing golf doesn't have to cost a fortune. And today, we're gonna to talk about Ram. Ram has been around for a while and it's got good and bad reviews. And sometimes it's been known for maybe producing equipment that isn't high quality. These irons here, they're cheap, but they're very high quality. The Ram FX77 irons from Forte Pitching Wedge come in at 300 pounds. No, I did not misspeak. For other brands, that's gonna be two or three irons worth, but for a Forte Pitching Wedge seven iron set, there's gotta be something wrong with them, right? Well, we're gonna hit some balls here at the Full Swing Simulator at Silvermere Golf Club. But first, if we just talk about the overall aesthetics, and you can see with the smile on my face, these things are a work of art. The elegant muscle back design for a hollow body design as well, makes these obviously very forgiving, but also it should make them quite an explosive ball speed. What I do like about these hollow body design irons is that they're quite broad in terms of who they're applying to. If you look at some other various direct to consumer cheap brand irons, they're quite limited. The Cali irons, for instance, I did like, but they weren't very forgiving. They were quite small. These sit right in the middle. Very similar, you guessed it, to the TaylorMade P790s, but some people could actually argue, just looking at these, and I'll put them on the screen for you now, they could actually look better. A very strange thing for me to say, because I love tailor-made. But the way in which these look head-on, Ram have absolutely smashed it. And then down that address as well, from the pitching wedge all the way up to the four iron, they're a really confidence-inspiring club. So what's missing? Why is this 300 pounds? Why is tailor-made 1,200? What is the difference? Because right now, I'm gonna hit them for a bit, but right now, I really don't know. These, with a hollow head and a forged effect, should perform quite well. I have hit them already, and I guess for 300 pounds, as I said, there may be something that, in terms of the categories of performance, forgiveness, feel, sound, could be missing. One thing that isn't missing is custom fitting. You can actually buy these online and get the specs that you want. For instance, with me, with my daddy long legs frame, I've been able to get them upright and half an inch longer. With the cheaper irons beforehand, you don't really expect this at all. So that was a really nice bonus. I'll put the loft on the screen for you now as well. Again, really similar to that player's distance iron type thing. They are quite strong with the six iron, with the seven iron being 30 degrees, but nothing that is different from other brands. We've got Payne's Valley here, and I've got an eight iron. I think that's gonna be long. No, that's okay. I was expecting them to go very far, but one thing that I have noticed in my testing so far is that as a hollow body iron, if you do remember back to 2017, I believe it was, when the piece of the 90s first got released, they had some trouble with the hollow body effect because the distances weren't that accurate. You'd have one that's in a time that could go 160 yards and one that could go 190 yards. I do think that is the case a little bit with these, but that's not as consistent as I'm saying. It's one in, one in 20, one in 25, where you really do get hot off the face. But one really positive is the forgiveness of these too. I'll show you what I'm looking at now down at address for the eight iron. And it is a very forgiving looking club. It's got quite a lot of uh, toe relief as well. Still a very appealing club down at address but that kind of likens it to this player's distance. It's got strong lofts, it's got a little bit of offset, and across the face, I'm not really noticing anything that's too drastically bad. You see that a time there went about 200 yards or so, they are strong lofts, but beforehand when I was hit one that was a little bit off the toe, it went about 182 yards, so not that bad. That could go in, no it can't. I felt really good though, and I've mentioned the, the piece of a 90s for maybe four, five, six times, and trust me, I'm gonna mention them a few more times, because I do think it is quite a good comparison for those hollow body players distance irons in 2022. And if you were to compare it to them, those numbers there are great, but I think what's the difference is between these and an upper class 1,200 pound or so iron from the likes of the big boys, the difference is maybe a slight loss in overall performance. The aesthetics down that address isn't as good but I, honestly, I think that's it. And that's only a little bit. So when you're looking at the difference, 75% or so cheaper for an RRP, I don't really think I need to tell you guys if it's worth it or not. Gosh, didn't swear, so that was good. But that one was really, really low off the face. And that's still gone to, as you guys can see there, to about 
15 foot. Let's change over quickly from an A time to a longer club, because I think it's good with a full set here to show you guys progression from club to club. From an A time, let's go to like, like a five iron now and see how far that goes in another one. At a different hole now at Payne's Valley, and it's a long one. Uh, 257 yards with a little bit of elevation downhill. The four iron instantly, when I'm looking at it, I don't think it's actually as appealing. Uh, and this is all the long irons as a whole, a four or five iron. I don't think it's appealing down at address in comparison to the shorter irons. Well, blocked that one. I mean, I blocked it a little bit. I don't think that was the best strike in the world, but wow, we're showing a really nice level of forgiveness with that one. We see on that bit was just a little bit thin and I blocked it a little bit, but still going with 235 yards and actually a decent level of spin as well. I'm gonna hit that one better. Yeah, that felt really, really good there. I think actually in terms of the, well, it's gonna leave me with a tough part, but in terms of the, the way in which the longer irons feel, I really like how explosive these feel off the face. I think the Holly body design works really well with the Ram FX77 irons for those longer irons. The shorter irons are good. But as I said, there's a little bit of inconsistency with the actual distances. Those longer irons feel really good. Like, I don't think you could honestly put this in my hand and compare it to a more expensive one. I don't think I'll be able to tell you there would be that big of a difference, which a big plus for these. I know I've mentioned before the custom fitting is good. It is still a little bit limited. You can't get exclusive, really expensive shafts and stuff. But if you're just getting into the game, these are perfect. I, I would not recommend an iron more than the Ram FX77s if you're just getting into the game, because it'd be silly to spend 1,500, 2,000 pounds on one. Ah, oh, fade. Ah, oh, left bunker. One good thing there, apart from the dispersion, <laughs> is the overall distance there is really positive. You can see, although I've one left, one straight, one right, that's me, not the clubs, uh, they're, they're getting some really consistent distances. So a little bit different, as I said before, to those shorter irons. It seems that the longer irons are actually a lot more put together in terms of that consistency, which is really good. Really, really impressed with the Ram FX77 hollow body irons. I think there really is now becoming a market for these cheap, sometimes direct to consumer, irons that are three to 400 pounds because although a lot of people do have brand equity to such brands like Titleist, TaylorMade, Mizuno, the difference between this one, this set of irons that's 300 pounds and theirs that is about a thousand pounds, I personally don't think you're getting an extra 700 pounds worth of performance from those ones. That's just my opinion, but from hitting these today, especially the longer irons, they've obviously got some negatives, which is understandable. I think every iron, every set of golf clubs has some negatives because they can't really be perfect for every golfer. But these irons, aesthetically, from forgiveness, the feel, they are really good. And I think I would encourage you guys just to try these out. Have a little look at them because you'd be surprised by the facets that I just said there. Things such as the sound, the feel, the forgiveness, and the way they look. These aren't gonna be clubs that you're gonna be a bit discouraged by putting in your bag. These look just as good as the others. Guys, let me know what you think of these Ram FX77 irons because I truly think they are one of the best looking irons I've seen for the last few years. And so maybe you'll think that too. If you've tried these already, if you have them in the bag, pop a comment down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, smash the like button too. If you are new to Golf Magic, guys, hit that subscribe button because we've got a lot of really exciting videos coming over the next few months. I'm sure you're aware there are tens, if not hundreds of new golf clubs being released from now to about February. So we're gonna have a lot of fun with it and a lot of fun reviewing it here at Silvermere Golf Club at the Full Swing Simulator and also out on the course with our Full Swing Launch Monitor too. That's it from me today, guys. As I said, any questions, pop them down below. I'll catch you in the next video.